Hello everybody, welcome back. Miner Mountain here playing some Player Unknown's Battleground. PUBG for short. This is my first chicken dinner. Uh, this is going to be a, off the replay because I, I wasn't at the level at this point in my PUBG career that I felt I should have a capture program running the entire time. Anyway, let's get after it. So the, the first when I posted chicken dinner was actually my second chicken dinner. It was on Miramar. I've got a win on Ear Angle as well. This is it. Um, and I also have a win on the new one, Sandhawk, uh, which I've basically been calling boot camp because that's where I usually land. Uh, anyway, I'll get that one up for you shortly. And today I got a number two on Sandhawk as well. So, and I've been recording a lot more. So hopefully more chicken dinners. I'll be able to serve you. Uh, Malta, Malta, uh, Milta. Not sure how to pronounce it, but I don't normally drop here. Um, I just dropped here. Fast forward this here. You don't need to see me looting. We got an AKM right now. Level one vest. We got AKM and a scar now. And a level one backpack. Level 2 vest, level 1 helmet looks like. I think that's about all the gear I end up with. Possibly a bit of ACOG, I'm not sure. So I keep looking, don't see people. Cross the road, still don't see people. There's some, couldn't tell if that was ACOG or if that was a, like a compensator or flash hider or something. I don't know. Not important, I suppose. Check the field real quick, don't see anybody. Um, there, there's a vehicle. Take shots at them, always, always, especially that close. What's the worst that can happen to this? I should have kept shooting. I don't know why, I, I don't know. Giving my position away though, firing that Scar L. That is a, that's a noisy gun. You should learn the difference of the sounds of guns. It can really help you. Uh, that and watch your kill feed to really help you in the game. At scar, you want a tip? He hearing that scar kind of sounds like a bag of junk hitting another bag of junk. <laughs> so it sounds like to me it's very, very crunchy, train wrecky sounding gun, uh, as opposed to like, like the M416. Uh, hung out on this little uh, hill for a while. I'm pretty nervous about the farm there. That used to be a lot hotter area than it is these days. I don't know why, but I. I Spotted this jeep. I'm going for this jeep over here because the circle is closing on military base and I'm uh, north of that. I need to get to the military base island. So I run for this jeep and that jeep is a graphic. I saw it from far off. Didn't, didn't have ACOG so I couldn't scope it out. So right now I am totally rethinking my plan because I've got to get to military base which is an island and, and I've got to take one of those bridges and to do that, to get there in time, I'm going to need to have a vehicle. And I simply do not have one here for me. So, walking across the bridge is just dumb. There's not going to be enough time. It's going to be suicide if anyone's on the bridge. Anyone's coming across the bridge with a vehicle, you're done. I mean, just out there in the open. So, my thought was if I could run out here into the open, which is silly, I know it's a good way to get shot, but there's not a lot of stuff around. That's that's a side tip right there. That's there's not a lot of stuff. You would have to be a very good sniper at this point to get me. My plan is to run to the beach and hopefully find a boat that maybe somebody came up from military on or has just spawned out here somewhere. So cross the road and yeah, being out here on the beach is really risky. But like I said, it would have to be a pretty good sniper. No one's just going to pop around a bush because there aren't any bushes out here. There's no trees out here. There's nothing for anybody to hide under or behind or whatever. So it's, it's only risky if there's a decent sniper in the area. Uh, no boat, so I'm going for a swim. Sometimes he's just got to bite the bullet and swim. And I didn't even know if I was going to be able to beat the circle. But uh, I did. Uh, swim underwater, you go faster underwater, and you can't be hit by bullets underwater. 
So there's a boat right there somebody already took. That's the boat I was looking for. A little good does me now. It'll work for cover for right now until I figure out my plan of action. There's a couple buildings up here at the top of this cliff I'm gonna go uh, infiltrate. I could see them as being potential places that uh, enemies could be simply because I'm coming to the party late. And I think I get up here, you'll see that there is a door open, but there's no one in here. Okay, don't, don't be one of those guys that crouches all the time. Crouch to avoid detection, but if you're in a firefight, crouching isn't going to help you a whole lot. Yeah, see, that door is open, so someone's been here. There's no loot in here. I don't know. There might be some leftover bullets or something. That's the thing, too. Don't be discouraged by open doors. You can still go in and loot because chances are there's only one person that went through there, and one guy can only carry so much, and he might be carrying all of one kind of gun and drop a different kind of gun that's the kind that you like to play with or ammo or whatever. But just because you see an open door doesn't mean there isn't loot in there. So I just kind of work my way up this hill. I'm really taking my time. We're getting into end game. 12 left here. So just, you know, you're running from cover to cover. When you get into end game, always have cover. In fact, that's why I lost today. I had a chicken dinner almost on uh, Sandhawk today. I got a number two finish and I just started shooting at the last guy before I had any cover. He didn't even see me. I could have, I should have played a little smarter and I would have had chicken dinner. I got like 16 hit points on him. He was almost done. He was four fifths dead. So there's a crate up here. Uh, I got pretty much all the ammo I need. This is all going to be close range firing probably on this hill is kind of what I'm thinking. And going towards those crates, uh, people can be camping on them. So at this point in the game, and it's probably looted anyway. So at this point in the game, it's more suicide, uh, more just a foolish thing to do than it is a smart move. So. So I decided to camp on it a little bit too. Maybe maybe some action will come by here. A couple guys will start shooting over it. I'll get a kill. At this point, I don't have any kills. Do I? No, I don't. And see, now usually I'll flick on the recorder after I get my first kill and I'm like getting to top 20 feeling good. But and the replay function is disabled right now, currently. So it's the only way I can get footage. Keep hearing shots over the hill from military. That's that goes without saying. Um, I'm really paranoid of downhill. I keep thinking there's probably somebody downhill is going to get me. I hear a vehicle over here, over the top of the hill, but I'm also really nervous about downhill. Downhill is a definite risk. I mean, you got the high ground, but if you don't see someone down there and you roll around the wrong side of the tree, it's, it's all about spotting that movement, spotting your enemies. Really, this game is, a lot of it is visual. I mean, granted, you hear footsteps come up, but usually if you're in a situation like this, you can hear footsteps, probably too late. I mean, I guess it depends on, you know, if you get lucky and you're on the right side of the tree or whatever, but But yeah, I hear these guys fighting in the distance. I'm nervous downhill, and there's two guys down there, so I saw, I saw, there. I'm just looking, and I happen to see him right there. And I'm on the right side of the tree, so we just kinda hang here. We wait for him to roll up. Wait for him, I got a scar, fully auto, ready to roll. He did not see me. He did not see me at all, until it was too late. He jumped about the time I imagined he saw me. But I just slid out from that tree and took him out. All right, looted up, got a number two, level two helmet there. Much better, much better. You want the dark green though. And this map, the, the light, this light camo is only good for Miramar. On Sandhawk and Erangal, you want the dark green camo number two helmet. Fun tip. So, we're down to three, so there's two other people besides me, and like I said, I'm paranoid of what's down the hill, so we're just kind of biding our time, laying back in the cut and seeing if I can't spot someone here. Not seeing anyone, but um, 
My strategy though is if two people start fighting, not to go for the easy kill right away because one of them will take the other out. They're both giving up their location to me and then while that guy's healing or trying to repair, that's when I'll take him out and that's kind of that's kind of my strategy because at first here I get a shot on a guy but I, I don't take it because well he ends up dying and I would have given my position away and wouldn't got any shots on my my enemy but the final guy gave his position away by killing the guy basically is right in front of me here you'll see here in a second uh, he gives his position away which allows me to hide behind a tree and I'm, like I said I'm paranoid down this hill but got to change your angle you can't stay put especially in this end game if you're, if you're just sitting by a tree waiting for things to happen the only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get shot which is a great way to find out where someone's at but if they got a headshot on you you know you don't have long to figure out where they're at all right nade I'm gonna nade right in front of me I think I nade and this was like a pitiful grenade toss like, it ends up landing right in front of me because I, I threw it underhanded. That comes up here in just a second, but I can, I can hear someone over there. Um, try smoking them out with a grenade. Uh, but this actually gave me an awesome idea, which I use quite a bit now, is if you're in proximity to someone, but you're not quite sure where they're at, throw a grenade, but throw it rather close to you. Because the guy looking for who threw that grenade is not going to look right where that grenade was. Who would be stupid enough to throw a grenade only 30 feet away from them, you know? Alright, I see him. He's up by that tree. He doesn't see me yet. So yeah, I mess up here and throw this grenade really short, underhanded. <laughs> you gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. So who would throw a grenade that short? So he's thinking I am definitely not behind this tree. It's kind of what I'm I'm hoping. But these guys end up getting in a firefight. Always peek. Lean. In a situation like this, you have a lot less of your body sticking out, a lot less can be detected. If you have the option, peek like that. Use your leaning keys. Learn to use your leaning keys. They're very important. Once again, I'm just paranoid down this hill, but the other guy's right there over the hill, so it's actually good that I'm paranoid of that side of the hill. There he is. And I'm behind this bush as well. Oh, see, he just got killed. He just got killed. I'm glad I didn't take shots, and I know this other guy's over here. I haven't seen him yet, but look at me. Look at me. I'm looking at the right direction. I know he's down there somewhere because I heard the shot, so I stay on this side of the tree knowing that he's going to come up that hill any second looking for me. There, I spotted him. I think he saw me too because he's looking over at me. So I step out with this, oh, AKM, and I got a headshot on him. And that is my first chicken dinner. Only two kills, but it's a win. A win is a win. Uh, at least it didn't die to zone or something stupid, but that's all I got time for today. Mind your mouth now. Peace!